So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns and the Tennessee Volunteers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Volunteers are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Second, make sure you eat up the boards. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He's the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. I think right now, got to focus defensively. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Watch out, five-second call approaching. Perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Trying to pack it inside for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Stop and pop. It sticks. Three. Drains it. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a high screen. They still don't score. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Inside, trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Double team now. Bad angle. He strips him clean. Looking for a good shot. Fed the low block. The power forward takes the feed. Outside jumper scorches the net. Now work it around the arc. Turns it over. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The frustration right there. Inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. 
Moving it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. The basket counts for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. He sinks it. The point guard with the ball. Kicks it out. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling out here and turns it over. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The center gets the pass. Goes up for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Great anticipation defensively. The point guard gets the ball. They work the perimeter. Puts it up. It's good. Knocks it down. Control of the ball. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He'll regroup the offense. Gave it up. The center takes the pass. He launches the bomb. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Holmes is fired up right now emotional. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sets the screen for his teammate. The ball goes out of play. The tradition, the chance, the passion, all great. It's obvious. These fans are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to cheer their team on to victory. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a good part of it, too. Now they work it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. Way off target. He drains the shot. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Sinks the shot. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket, the Raging Cajuns have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Leaning in, trying to draw contact.
Picks off the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the inside, number 32 with a fake. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks for the bomb. Louisiana Lafayette are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense does all. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Stolen. the dribble gives it up trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you, what a great job on a deep and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot up easy one Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. A oh, terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top of the circle. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Picked off. They get out on the break. Puts it up, looking for contact. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Switch things around here for the moment. I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the outside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. The fake. Pull up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. He gets the bucket to fall. Looks at the three. He buries it. Well, Dick, it's early, but I tell you, you don't want to be in this kind of spot in an NCAA tournament game in the first half. I'll tell you one thing. In this tournament, it's all about winning six in a row and playing together as a unit. And if you spot a club double digits like they're doing, it's tough to come back. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. 
good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They're working around the arc. He intercepts it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Went away from the post and goes the other way. The ball goes out of play. Step out on that screener. Stolen ball. Look at that spacing. He's going nowhere. Going ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Louisiana Lafayette have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great defensive play. Anticip he makes the block. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The senior's going to take a trip to the line and get the basket, Dick. That senior determination in a big game, Brad. At the line. Routine. Moving it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Home is down emotionally right now, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Good fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. For two, the Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Intercepted. at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. 
Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Picked out of the air. Top of the key goes. They move it into the front court. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Well, he's on fire. Dump it inside. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's money with the shot. Number 32 with the foul. First personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Number 32 steals the ball. Got to control yourself. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. It's the second. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for contact. In and out. Two for one opportunity. Gave it up. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. At the foul line. Makes the first. Them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. They're working around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Shot clock is dead. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Hold on, let's see that again. At the horn, misses the long bomb. At halftime, the Raging Cajuns are up by 27. This ride's been interesting, Richard. What's your highlight of the half? Hey, Brad, when you look back at the first half, you have to consider this three ball, which set the tone for how the first half was going to go. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. 
field. Has played a good game so far, I think, Dick. Well, you know, Brad, it might not be good enough for them tonight. Just look at the score. Be the star player of the team. He needs to take charge and come out firing in the second half. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. They run it up into transition. There was no doubt about that one. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. They work it back to the outside. Fakes it. Set that screen away. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison today. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. With the free throw. First shot, good. Gets them both. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Double team now, Matt Angle. For three, questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Short steps to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He takes the shot from the baseline. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He shoots from long range. He gets the bucket. Here's one for the highlight reel. On the outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He fakes the shot. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. screen so effective that screen cue the rewind button boys puts it on the floor and up and under I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He tries the three. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Oliveira is receiving a lot of support from the fans. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Check that out. He's coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Two shots. It's the first shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. And he got them both. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Leans in. Rims out. For the bucket. with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And now there's a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. There's the pick. There's the roll. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> Takes. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes for the ball handler. He launches a three. Gets it to go. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very keys to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, blah, blah. Dribble gives it up, takes away the pass. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Count that as a personal foul. Gave it up. Erickson handles the feet and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He nails the bucket. Looking to move it around 
the perimeter. He pump fakes. Fields receives the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. He hits the shot. I want to see that again. He lets it fly. Off the rim and no good. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Drains the shot. it around the perimeter gave it up the center handles the pass work it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot they scored nine in a row for the bucket great play to take that to the basket it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They move it up in a hurry. Looking for a good shot. Fakes it. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Moving it around the perimeter. That's a high post. He makes the block. Look at that spacing. The top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. That's good. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. He rejects it. Got a nice screen. Launches the three. Rims out. Home receives the ball. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He puts up the three ball. Got it. That's seven on answer. Now it's getting high. He gets the rejection. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. off goes up for two Tennessee are on a run right here as of late Nick yeah they've started to put it together on offense can they keep it together though that is the question that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot gave it up 
too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Defensively fronting him. Well, it's the keys to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They clear the defensive rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. He takes it away. For two, drains it. The Raging Cajuns are up by 15. There's the trap. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. for two. Doesn't go. And we got a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint, Louisiana Lafayette are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He intercepts it. High screen. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Stolen. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. With a jump hook and off the mark. Intercepted. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. As the fans continue to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? 
He tries to knock down the three. Nice shot. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. From three-point range. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Strips the ball. Nobody got that defensive rotation is very poor. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. with a double team to stop it. They're working around the perimeter. Tries a three. He gets it to fall. Picks off the pass. He shoots from the low post. He comes up empty. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Looking for a good shot. They've left him completely alone. Rims out. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For two. Perfectly executed. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the long-range bomb. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Side, trying to draw some contact. The lay in. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Screen, gonna use it. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Blocks the shot. Shot clock is dead. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Goes up for two. On the 
the outside. Take it away. And Nick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Raging Cajuns came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second round matchup. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.